you know right now i'm having like mixed feelings about the film it's like an exam we did our homework it's like school we did our homework we did a research or we gave the exam and now it's like whether we passed or failed oh, so results i'm just waiting for the results so yeah you janti hai na mujhe rukne wali nahi hu main kuch bhi ho jaye preeti kaise bhi thund kar nikalungi love sonia Sonia is a very powerful strong girl but who is at the same time vulnerable and naive and she's not aware about the manipulative world that is waiting for her and what the moment she's out you know she's trying to find her sister uh, how she lands up into the prostitution uh, business it is quite sad about the fact that uh, there are women sometimes you know who try to pull women into this business uh, at the same time uh, you know it's a beautiful bond between two sisters i'm breaking all the barriers i'm making sure that i uh, i find my sister at any cost irrespective of what happens to me uh, when i did when i did the audition what i had in my head was completely different from what it has turned out today as a character as a as an artist i have learned a lot of things uh, as to as far as uh, being attentive like uh, i become aware and through this film i want to educate the people the audience out there that what is the reality all i want to tell them is please watch the film is because you live in a bubble the moment you step out of that bubble you get to know what the reality is and trust me it's harsh when i was uh, called by david and tabrez because they had seen hunter so i met them and uh, that's how i came on board but uh, what attracted me towards this film or to do this role was the character of anjali i think she is uh, she she is the pedex of uh, love sonia um, Anjali is somebody who who has a you know mysterious silver lining to her character because when you see her you don't really know whether she's a nice person or she's not a nice person what her story is so i think it was quite intriguing and uh, that's how i got on board and then we started shooting then we shot then we waited for 2 years and after 2 years now the film is coming out so we're very very happy pretty my character she is like young 14 year old girl in a set so when i read it in a script when i read a script so i really like the script i really like my character but after doing research like me and ravi both went to kolkata sona kochi after meeting those girls after meeting those few victims what i read like after reading the script the kind of perception i had has totally changed like while performing you know after meeting them it's like i think about them in a broader respect i respect them more and i was willing to justify my role as you know jinna also ki utna i want to justify and you know i want to play my character as she said so yeah so me and tabrez we both built a graph like a pre graph ki uski life mein kya hua hoga iska ek graph banaya gaya and we followed that but as far as anjali is concerned she must have been a prostitute she has acts as a uh, pedex she is a pimp now par mujhe aisa lagta hai ki like like you correctly said she must have been a victim and you know when you are a victim you that situation defines your journey further and i think uh, anjali does certain things because she wants to survive mm -hmm. and these are her survival in instincts that are doing uh, that ha that are making her do things so probably she is a nice girl within but she has to survive at the same time so i really like the you know contrast and struggle of being a nice and not a nice girl so yeah I have followed couple of I have watched couple of Indian films um, to study what human trafficking is about and to what level it is shown to. Uh, I realized that what was different in this film was it is shown on a global uh, level. Like uh, a couple of films which I saw, they were they were dealing only with like say Mumbai to uh, some small village or something like that. But in this film, uh, how the girls get trafficked from 
a village to a city to another country and from that one country to another country so you know the level uh, it's it's massive so much money has been involved who i'm sure it could not take 20000 40000 50000 the amount of money that has been invested on girls being trafficked it's immense but who pays for this is a question that i kept asking for myself like th- these are the kind of question which were unanswered and even if when i found couple of answers i was i refused to admit it because they appeared to be good people and uh, it was uh, i did get a lot, a lot of sleepless nights when i was thinking about this and uh, trust me that's up to the brains for making a film on a uh, issue like this and it's his debut film so it's a big risk that he's taking not all directors take that also he's casting a newcomer who casts a newcomer for a powerful film like this for a powerful character like this so for me for preeti actually for her she's she she didn't understand actually if you see the movie she didn't know what she is doing because half of the time she is on drugs at the end she become like drug addict so she is not aware what is happening around her because she she knew that okay she going to go to bombay for work but she will end up into a brothel she had no idea about it and uh, so she she was unaware of things what is happening around her and uh, in that process she actually lost that trust feeling for other people and uh, she don't even trust she don't recognize her sister also honestly we had too much on our plate because this is not uh, this is not a film where you know we are running singing songs dancing on songs so this study for us tabrez and the uh, the production guys david all of them were ready we just had to go and do our jobs because we had too much on our plates so i'm sure tabrez and uh, team must have uh, stormed over this and what we see now is a result of their brainstorming and uh, efforts for 10 years there were so many things that we wanted to show in the film but i think i thought it was not uh, enough there are so many things that are happening i think uh, then i think people would not <laughs> come and watch it i would like to add that this is a global topic it's just not uh, limited to india or any other yeah, country yeah. it's a same thing happens all over the world and somebody had to make a movie on this and i'm glad that brace chose the subject mm-hmm.